Hey guys, um, so it was a really nice day a couple of days ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording this a couple of days after I've painted, um, but it was a really nice day, so I thought I would film a video. And I've gotten a couple of questions asking like, how do I plan my larger pieces or my more complex pieces? And I thought I'd make a video kind of just talking through my process. Um, I feel like, like the process of like painting and coming up with a painting is like different for everyone. And you kind of have to like find what works best for you because what works for me might not work for you at all. Um, but I guess I can just talk about like what are some of the things that I think about when I'm um, coming up with a, uh, when I'm coming up with a painting. And um, yeah, what are what are the things that I like really consider? Yeah, and it's it's kind of weird for me to talk about this as well because I feel like, <laughs> to some extent, every time I start a new painting, it's like, like I have to kind of relearn how to paint. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but with each new painting, it feels like I've forgotten how to paint and I, I'm like doing it for the first time all over again. Um, so, you know, this, this process will look different from, uh, for example, a different painting that I do. Um, but I thought it'd be interesting to just, just kind of talk about the basic things that, I, that, I, that are on my mind when I paint. Yep. So usually I'll start off with a concept um, because I, I do think concepts are pretty um, important for my pieces. Um, and for this, for this piece, the concept was pretty simple. It was inspired by a song by Gus Dapperton. I don't know if you guys know it, it's Palms. And it's essentially just a song about like reading someone's palm. Um, or kind of, yeah. Um, but I, <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny because um, my, my channel name is Palm Thing. And that actually refers to palm trees, but I thought it was like a funny coincidence that I was so like into, like I love this song and I, I was really into like the lyrics and kind of the idea of reading someone's palm um, in place of, you know, um, having to talk or having to converse with someone. So I just thought this was an interesting concept and a nice coincidence, um, so I decided to go with it. And yeah, usually when I go into paintings, I go in with a very loose concept. I don't really have um, a specific direction in mind uh, because I've usually found that I, I think the best when I'm actually sketching and when I'm actually painting, um, which is why the sketching stage is like really important um, for my pieces. Um, so yeah, I usually just go in with a loose concept and I'll start playing around with it. And then while I paint, I I kind of realize, oh, this is what I want to do. Yeah. So as you can see, I've already started sketching in my sketchbook. Um, and for this piece, actually, I've made really a lot of different sketches to really um, gauge how I want to how I want to put together the painting. Um, usually, I'll just do like a couple of thumbnail sketches, but for this one, I I really wanted to work out how watercolor, um, in particular, will work. Um, in the context of this piece. So so I did a lot of uh, watercolor sketches in my sketchbook. And usually this stage is, the sketching stage is really just working out the kinks of the design, you know, starting off with play. Um, usually I don't put on too much pressure on myself to make something beautiful. Um, and usually it's, it's really just a stage of experimentation. Um, and of course, with this comes, you know, being okay with things being half done and and being okay with not liking things as well. Um, you know, some of these sketches I never finish, and some of these sketches I, I do halfway. You'll see, you'll see for the hand on the right page of this, of this spread, um, I start out with like um, putting in colored pencil blobs, and then I realize I really hate how that looks. <laughs> so, so I just completely change it. And you know, it's totally okay. It's like, it's, that's the point of having a sketchbook, is really experimenting and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. Um, and yeah, for this piece also, I was playing around with different mediums. Um, I was mainly using watercolor, but I also wanted to see how colored pencil uh, fit, into the, fit into the design uh, and gouache as well. Um, so I'm just 
um, using the sketchbook as a space for uh, medium experimentation as well. Yeah, and on the more practical side also, um, it forces you to practice drawing. Um, I'm not the best at drawing hands, so, so this really forced me to keep drawing like so many hands that um, when I did the final piece, it, it came a bit more naturally to me. Yeah. So I'll just let the, the sketching, um, the rest of the sketching uh, portion of the video play, and then I'll come back when I'm, I'm actually doing the actual piece.
So as you can see, I did the first two sketches and um, now I'm starting on this like new spread of little uh, thumbnail sketches. Um, and uh, I thought this was important because I kind of realized uh, with the previous two sketches that I really liked the look of the boxes. Um, so the boxes that are overlaid on top of the hand. And I didn't really like the look of the blobs. So I kind of scrapped that and now I'm kind of like seeing uh, what, how exactly I want to use the boxes and how exactly I want them to look on the piece. So, so this is an instance of, you know, me doing a sketch, me liking something from the sketch and then kind of like digging deep, deeper into it. Um, so yeah, so that, that's what I did and I kind of got a general idea of what I wanted. I didn't actually plan out, uh, the final piece. Um, I don't usually do that actually because uh, I, I, for me it's a bit unnatural. Um, for me, uh, I do a lot of kind of like reacting um, to how I'm feeling to like what's happening on the final piece. Uh, so actually it's, I have a very hard time like planning things out. Um, so usually I don't do it, but it is helpful for me to kind of like know or have like a strategy, strategy plan or a game plan if you will, um, before going in to kind of like, uh, be a bit more organized. Yeah. So it's, it's finally time for the final piece. You can see my sketches here. Um, usually I have my sketches to the side so I can reference um, them and kind of like reference the parts of them that I like. Yeah, so, so for the final piece, I usually just um, do a quick pencil sketch of the elements that I think are gonna be most important or fundamental in the piece. Um, and it'll, um, sometimes it changes a lot throughout the piece. Like I figure out that I really don't like some part of it, so I just change it as I go. Um, but that didn't really happen with this piece. This piece actually, I worked pretty in an organized way, which is kind of rare. <laughs> um, but it was nice because I kind of uh, realized I need the, the initial sketch for the watercolor part of it. 
and then afterwards as I go I start adding more things um, with color pencil and with gouache um, and also with uh, with watercolor as well so yeah I, I will take the parts of the sketches that I like um, and then I'll kind of like smush them together in my mind and then uh, make like a make a pencil sketch uh, to guide kind of uh, the things that I'm going to paint because especially with watercolor um, you kind of need to be aware of, of what you're going to paint um, and what you're going to leave light, what you're going to leave dark, uh, etc. It's, it's still a process of like figuring things out um, as I'm painting but but it's it's a bit more informed this this painting was really fun to do honestly because I was really playing around with the transparent um, quality of watercolor how you can like really layer so many things on top of one another and have um, this effect where it looks like you're you're looking through screens almost um, and I think that effect works really well in the in the concept of my painting um, however I did find that uh, it the watercolor itself, like just by itself, wasn't enough. Like it felt a bit flat, um, and it felt a bit textureless. Uh, so I did reference actually the the blue hand sketch that I did, where I did use colored pencils, and then later on you'll see that I add some texture um, back into it using colored pencils. <laughs>
Here, finally, I'm doing some like final touches uh, with color pencil as well. Um, I, I really like the the opacity of color pencils. I use the Prisma color color pencils, and they're they're super super opaque. So um, against like a dark watercolor background, they really stand out. Um, so they're really really great for adding adding that detail in and adding some like um, little things that kind of like make make this make the painting special um at least for me i don't know <laughs> um and and yeah so this is finally this is kind of the stage where you know it's almost done but now i'm i'm kind of adding the final touches um and trying to trying to be as satisfied as i can with it like taken off all the tape already and then I realized oh there's one detail that's that's still missing that I that I still want to add to <laughs> so I, I just add to it <laughs> here yeah um, but otherwise it's done and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it um, I would like to do another version of it actually a simpler version um, so maybe I'll do that in another video but uh, that's it that's all for now uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful in some way, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.